Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a brand new episode of Takeover Tuesday. I'm so excited that you all are here. It is August. Can you believe it is August? I the Time is going by too fast. And it is the fifth. Oh, my goodness. I can't even talk today. I'm so excited. It is the 50th episode of Takeover Tuesday. What? what? This is crazy. It's crazy. I was sitting here this morning getting ready and I'm like, we just hit 50. It's like, it's just a Tuesday. We're hitting 50 episodes. So thank you all for watching and allowing us to do 50 episodes. I'm so happy and grateful and it's going to be another great show today, but I wanted to see how you guys are all doing this morning. I'm seeing all the comments today. I want to say hi to everyone. Good morning. We got Brenda Johnstone. Good morning. Sharon Bingham. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Hello, Wolfgeist. Norma Bates. Barbara Jones. I'm trying to get through all the names, but how are we doing? Um, I have to tell you guys, it is hot. It's hot over here. It actually was it's funny because I was doing the project for today and I made this because of the heat and kind of like playing off of the sun and all that stuff. And I walked outside on my break and it was cloudy and raining outside. I said, well, <laughs> that doesn't really go with what I'm doing today. Um, but I have to tell you, so anybody watching from Arizona, I was just out there this weekend. I was helping my best friends move out there and all I'm going to say is I was not prepared for the Arizona heat. I was not. Apparently, they were having, I was out in Gilbert, and they were having record-breaking heat and weather and temperatures. It was absolutely wild. Um, Saturday, I went Friday through Sunday, and I got there on Friday, and the next day was 118 degrees. If any of you guys live out there, I am so jealous and just that you guys are able to handle that. We were kicking up the AC, but it was so much fun. Arizona is really beautiful. And we actually drove out. Um, we drove out there Friday morning and seeing the sunrise over like going through California and Alpine and the desert was so beautiful. So loved it. Loved the trip. I had so much fun, but whoo, y'all, it was hot. It was hot. I've never been burnt. Like when you go out to cars, I didn't know that 
when you handle and go onto car door handles, they burn you. So I had to be really careful. I was doing this the whole time, opening all my doors. Um, but yeah, hope everybody's staying cool if you guys are out there or anywhere else with that type of weather because I had never experienced something like that. It was wild. But that was kind of the inspiration for today's episode because I was wearing my sunglasses a lot and I was like, you know what? I don't want my sunglasses to get scratched or anything like that in my bag or in my purse. So we are making these adorable little sunglass cases and I actually made two. This one is mine that I made. It's got that little reverse fabric, the white and the blue and then the blue and the white. And then I made this one for Lorena who works in customer service. Look at that. She loves pink and she loves, um, cheetahs and you know all that kind of stuff and leopard print so I had to go with this and then on the inside it's the little print in there but so cute and these are so much fun to make and you can absolutely customize these as well I was really tempted to embroider something on here before I stitched it all together but I didn't because I know a lot of people might not have an embroidery machine so I just wanted to leave it open but if you do make this which all of the things that you'll need are down in the description box below um customize it and then show me pictures. I'd love to see if you embroider on it or do something fun with it, but such a fun, easy project. I feel like it's just perfect timing for these right now. <laughs> and also, especially with the car trash can that we made and the keychain, I was really, I was this close to making like a whole set yesterday of, with this fabric. So I was going to do a um, sunglass case and then the keychain and a car trash can all in the same font or in the font all the same font in the same fabric oh my goodness is it monday it's not monday but it feels like it is um but it is super fun to make and i am very excited to show you guys but i just have a few little things to talk with you guys about before um Ooh, Sassy said monsoon rains have started in Arizona. It's funny because I left on Sunday night and I think the next day they had a huge monsoon. I was like, I'm so glad I missed that. <laughs> I hope everybody stayed safe, but I am such a California girl. I, as soon as I touched down and saw the ocean, I'm like, okay, okay, we're good. We're good. I, I'm just a homebody. I hate to, I hate to say it, but I really am. Um, yeah, this is a great Fun little project, and I hope... See, she's got her little sunglasses in there. They fit for a lot of sizes of sunglasses. I actually tested them out because I had to make sure before we did this that every type of sunglass would fit. I'm a big sunglass person, so I have giant ones, and these fit perfectly right in there. So, super, super fun. But before we get too deep into it, I just want to let you guys know a few fun things going on over here at SMP. Now, I would do a little shout out for Kyle and Roger, but they're actually down at Mission Bay today, packing up everything at the store, getting everything all cleared out. And if you guys did have the chance to go down to Mission Bay and get some shopping and get some good savings, um, I hope you guys got some good stuff and maybe some machines because we were, we sold out, we sold a lot in the time that we were closing and having that big sale. So I hope you guys were able to get in there and see what we had and any options. Um, but they are down there today. But I will say, if you want to stay connected with SMP, just pretend Roger's right there. Sign up for emails because that is all Roger and he is um, working hard to get you guys the best coupons and savings and all of that good stuff. And also with the beginning of the month means big promo starting. So I would keep your eyes peeled for emails and posts from us, especially on our socials. We are going to be showing you all of the good stuff that is on sale and on specials in August because there's a lot. There's a lot. You'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, it's great. And then so fast. And now I have to tell you, when I was talking with you guys last week, I did mess up the dates for SoFest and I had just completely blanked on it. I said it's the 11th through the 17th, which means it would be going from Monday to Sunday, but it is September 11th through the 15th. So five days of streaming for eight hours right here, same place on our YouTube channel, but it is way more fun. Way, way more fun? Yeah, that makes sense, right? <laughs> Um, it is so much fun and we are here from 8am 
Although our schedules are changing. I will have to get back to you on that because we have, we did something a little different this year and we kind of talked about it a little bit, but yeah, we, we switched some things up. So SoFest is going to be a little bit different this year, but I think you're going to like the change. I think you are because I know I'm going to love the change and I'm super excited, but you'll have more information to come. Tony asked if there's going to be any breaks for the show. Um, for SoFest, no. I don't think we're going to have any breaks, but we're going to have different segments all throughout the day. So if there was one that you wanted to watch more than the other, then you can, once we get the schedule up, you can see which ones um, you want to do and kind of plan your day accordingly to that. Um, but I'm just going to say it. There's, there's something good going on. There is. We'll let you know more as we get more information. Um <laughs> Zena said, can it get any better if it's different? <laughs> yes, it can. It can. That's what I thought too, but it can. Um, so yes, SoFest, September 11th through the 15th. And we will have more information in regards to the contest as well. It is a garment contest. That's um, some of the information that I can give you now. Um, but of course, we will have more as it comes along. But it's coming up fast. We already got to go we already got to start working on it. So let's see. We will just wait and see. I'm excited. Whenever the festivals happen, I always get so antsy because it's just, it's five full days of education and I always learn so much, especially with me doing Takeover Tuesday every week. I love learning new things from other educators, you know, like Joanne Banco and Angela Wolf, like just my favorite educational, just superstars, my little celebrities that I love so much. I love hearing them just talk and chat about all their favorite things and just giving us the best education. So that is my most favorite part and the part that I'm looking forward to the most. So awesome. It's great. Um, what else do I want to tell you? Ooh, so this week on SMP Live, we have Carly Bell in the house and she is going to be talking about the PRS 100 because if you guys didn't know, we actually had a huge price drop on the brother PRS 100 and also the baby lock alliance. So if you guys are looking for an embroidery machine that maybe is a little bit more heavy duty and you're looking for something that can really handle a lot of projects, but you're not quite ready for a multi-needle, I would highly suggest you look at the PRS 100 or the alliance because they both have that open arm. So you're able to do hats, you're able to do shoes, you can do bags there. It opens you up to so much more having that free arm um, rather than having all these multi needle, all of these needles on there and maybe you're getting a little bit overwhelmed. So I highly recommend you check it out. It's awesome. And tune in this Thursday because Carly will give you the best advice when looking for, um, the machine that you want. And when it comes to the free arm, she is just, she's a superstar. I actually am really, really, really planning on getting a PRS 100. That is a machine that I've wanted for so long. And especially with how much I've been sewing and crafting and doing stuff with the shows and all that stuff. I, I get it. I really understand the machine. Like I just, I see a machine. I'm like, I need it. Especially with the Bernina Cafe editions. Oh, my goodness, you guys, I want them so bad. It's on my wish list, except my wish list is probably 20 machines long and then like 50 notions long. So we got to get through it slowly, slowly, but surely. <laughs> but I know somebody might be able to relate out there. I mean, just seeing machines, I'm like oh, drooling. So yes. Well, with all that being said, I want to show you guys how to make these little sunglass cases because they are so fun, very, very easy, and you can do this with scraps. Absolutely. I used some of my personal collection of fabric, but you're more than welcome. You can even like stitch together, maybe like piece together some little scraps if you have really small pieces, but you can do this with scraps. Absolutely. So, Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, Steve, Stephen Norma Coffin said that the little rebels on her wish list. Me too. And Tony said, I have to ma marry a billionaire. Absolutely, Tony. You're on the right track. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> you guys are so funny. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm going to go ahead and be backstage. If you guys have any questions, please let me know the pattern and all of the information and products that I use today are down in the description box below. If you are interested in anything that I use today, um, currently my highlight of the week right now is the reliable velocity iron. I am never not impressed by this, 
um, iron. It is so amazing. One thing that I particularly love about it is the fact that it has a sensor on the handle. So when you lift and release the handle, um, it senses when you're t- grabbing the handle and that's when it releases the steam. But the steam is like trapped in the top of the machine. So it's so strong and powerful when it comes to pressing all of your fabrics. Oh my goodness, you guys. I love ironing now because of the reliable. I just had to say that. I just had to. Um, but Okay, let's get started with the video, but I will be back here. If you guys have any questions, let me know what you guys are thinking about as you're watching the video, and I will be back, and then you guys know what time it is after that. You know, you know. All right, let's get started with the video. Bum, bum, bum. I will be right back. Bye, guys.
right, you guys, what did you think? I saw two questions that I wanted to answer. The first one was, um, what did I put on top of the case when I was pressing it before I did the final little stitch? And I actually took that. That was a recommendation by, oh, I forget who it was, but I essentially just did it. It was just a piece of white fabric just to kind of protect the project um, from the iron. Um, I feel like it helped. I also get kind of I don't know. I get paranoid when ironing things, especially when um, you have a really bright colored fabric. Like I just want it to, I don't want the color to fade. And I don't want it to, I don't want anything to happen to it. So I just kind of laid an extra layer of fabric just to protect it a little bit, but you definitely don't have to do that if you don't want to. That was just kind of my own, like, mm, let me just be careful and make sure nothing happens to it. But it worked out fine and it didn't affect anything. It still ironed it the same. It still did everything the same. And then the second question I had was, why is the Reliable my favorite iron? Now, it's just for a couple of reasons. I actually used to use the Aliso, and I'm sure you guys have seen that in previous videos. And an issue that I was having with the Aliso is it was always spitting water on my projects. And I don't know why it was just bugging me a little bit. Like, why are you getting all this water everywhere? But it was always spitting water. And then whenever I would be using the Aliso, it would always throw that kickstand down when I was still ironing. Like it would sense that I was done ironing when I done ironing when I really wasn't. So that's why I switched. Um, but as soon as I got that reliable, it was a game changer because it actually traps kind of how it works. I'm going to try and explain this the best way that I can, but it traps the steam. It's essentially like a vapor generator and it traps it right above the ironing plate. And when you start, it has a sensor on the handle. And as soon as you go, it just gets all that steam out and it doesn't even take me maybe five, 10 seconds to iron out a piece of thing to make sure it's all good and straight. Like that could have taken me two seconds to make sure it was all flat, but I love ironing and I could sit there and go back and forth with an iron all day long. So I always do it a little bit longer than normal, but the reliable is just so quick with it. Like if you're doing a, you know, just a certain type of project and, um, like piecing, for example, if you have like a chain piece of fabric, um, it's really easy just to go through really quickly and iron all that piece, all those pieces of fabric. So that's, that's my preference, but I know everybody has all of their different um, preferred methods of how they do that. So one other comment that I'm going to make, I saw we, everybody was talking about the lottery. Are we all going to do an SMP Nation lottery pool? Let me know. Let me know where I need, who I need to talk to because <laughs> that is awesome. I love that that was happening when I was, I was watching the videos you guys were talking about. And I thought it was so funny, um, but yes. That is it. That was all. It was such an easy project. As soon as I got done that making that blue one, I went over to Lorena and I was like, what colors do you want? What kind of fabric do you want? What, what are you thinking of? Can I make you one? <laughs> I was just having this itch of like, I want to keep going with these projects and make as many of them as I can. And I still have extra of this fabric. So I think I'm going to do a keychain. By the way, the keychains are so popular in the SP Nation or no, I'm sorry, just in the s &P office. I have made probably 10 keychains at this point of as soon as I made that video and as soon as we did Takeover Tuesday with the keychains, everybody was like, can I have one? I also made myself one, but I actually just used the same fabric all throughout instead of the accent like we were talking about a couple weeks ago with the accent fabric on the bottom. I just loved this fabric so much. I was like, you know what? This is perfect. That's awesome. But yeah. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was so much fun. And I'm glad you guys enjoyed it because one thing that I love to create, you know, everybody has their certain things that they like to make, whether it's quilts or it's, um, you know, maybe in the hoop projects or clothing or things that you make on a serger. I love very useful things like the car trash can, the keychain. So the more patterns and the more things that I find that are like useful items that I can use around the house or just like in my normal daily life, those are the projects that I love, especially this. Oh, I love it. And that way I see it all the time and I'm like, yeah, I made it. Isn't that so cool? So we love that. I am so excited. But guys, do you know what time it is? I know what time it is. Do you guys know what time it is? It is giveaway time. Are we ready? Dun, dun, dun. Did I make Blaine a keychain? I did not make Blaine a keychain. Not yet. He actually didn't ask for one. I should see if he wants one. 
Because I would make him one. I would put airplanes on it, of course. Or Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew, for sure. I'll do Mountain Dew. Um, but let's get started on some giveaways. Let's do it. Okay. So, dun, dun, dun. let me get our, our little giveaway music going so we can get started. But let's see. What is the first thing that we're going to give away? I'll tell you right now. We're going to give away our world famous so mats, of course. You know them. You love them. These are the best. They help reduce noise and vibration with your machine. So if you've got a machine and maybe you're doing some embroidery and it's shaking around a little bit, definitely that calls for a sew mat. Just so that way it smooths everything out, makes it a little bit quieter, and you're just able to, you know, withstand all that sewing. And your machine stays nice and protected on whatever surface it's on, which is amazing. So let's go ahead and spin and see who is going to win this sew mat. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Stephen Norma Kaufman, congratulations. You have just won your very own SOMAT. So if you would like to claim, let's go ahead and head to smplive.tv. I almost said spin that wheel. I am looking at your guys' comments. Go to smplive.tv, go to the bottom of the page and fill out that form. Let us know what size and what color you want and we will take it from there and get that shipped out to you. Congratulations. Okay, let's spin again and see who's gonna win their very own SOMAT. Of course, I gotta, I have to, I have to see who's gonna win it next. Laura Wallace, congratulations. You have just won your very own SOMAT. So again, just go to smplive.tv, fill out that form at the bottom of the page. Let us know what color and what size you want. We've got lots of different options for you and they are on the smplive.tv page. So you're able to see all the different colors there. I don't know, maybe you're a brother, a brother machine user. You could use the blue or a Janome red, Bernina red. We've got all the colors for you. Baby lot gold. We've got all. We've got them all. I personally, my favorite one at the moment is the light teal one, the aqua one. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. And it's so light. It kind of just lights up the room a little bit. I love it. It's the best. Okay. Let's move on. And next up, we are going to do a $100 gift card for a lucky lucky winner today and if you win you can go use this for a hundred dollars off your order on sewing machines plus how cool is that so let's see who is gonna win and if you do win today if you are the lucky winner today let us know what you're gonna use it on i'd love to know are you gonna stock up on some needles threads bobbins what are you gonna use it on Michelle Thomas, congratulations. You have just won a $100 gift card from SMP to you. So if you would like to claim that, go ahead and head to smplive.tv, fill out that form at the bottom of the page, and just let us know your email because we will send that code, the gift card code to you, to your email inbox. So just be on the lookout for that. And then you can get shopping. Congratulations. Now I'm going to do one more gift card because you know me, you know. So let's go ahead and spin for a $50 gift card and see who's going to get $50 off your order today. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see who's going to win. Shirley Nevering. Is that how I say your name? I'm so sorry if I butchered your last name. But Shirley, congratulations. You have just won a $50 gift card from SMP to you. So again, if you'd like to claim that prize, go ahead and head to smplive.tv. Fill out that form at the bottom of the page and we will take care of the rest and get you that gift card in your email inbox. I would say to your front door, but to your email inbox front door, technically, kind of, somewhat. You guys know what I mean. You know what I mean. Um, well, congrats, guys. I love that we're giving away gift cards because I feel like that's a perfect way for you to also get what you want and maybe something that you need. So I'm so excited. And if you guys did win today and you're in our SP Nation Facebook group, let us know what you end up buying. Maybe if you get a machine, I don't know. Let me know. Also, just let us know when you get a new machine. We love to see pictures and all this stuff. Um, I feel like a lot of people 
within the past week have gotten their machines from the auction that we had at the beginning of July. So I'm really excited that you guys are all getting all your stuff. Michelle Thomas said, thank you. She better go buy a lottery ticket now. I'm telling, go do it. Go do it. Today's your lucky day. You don't want to lose the, the, what is it? The luck, the luck trend. Keep it going. Keep it going. <laughs> but yeah, it's, I'm super excited that everybody's been able to get all their machines. And I love that you guys are all posting pictures because it feels like, I don't know. I feel like it's Christmas when you get a new machine because it's just amazing. And being able to sew on a new machine is just, oh, it's the best. It's the actual best. So super exciting. Diane said she got her second machine yesterday morning. Big box, a big box. I'm so excited. Congratulations. It's so much fun. And if you guys start doing projects, you have to show me pictures. So if you guys are not in our Facebook group today, I highly recommend going and joining. I have some fun things up my sleeve over the next couple of weeks that I'll be posting in there. So you might want to tune in and hang out with us in there because you never know. You never know what's going to pop up in there because it's me. And I don't know. I, I think I'm kind of, I might be unpredictable, but it might not be in a good way. And it just is like, you're going to see something on there one day. Like, what? Hey. like a giveaway, you know, maybe like a machine giveaway. I don't know. I don't know. You'll just have to be there or be square and you'll find out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Well, Dawn said she got super excited when FedEx pulled up freight. Oh, I know what that means. That means it's a big machine. Was it a multi-needle? I think it was. I think I saw your post actually. Was it the array? Oh, I love the array. All of the machines that you guys are getting, I'm like, I'm so jealous. All of them are on my wish list. <laughs> It's awesome. Um, a little update for the stores. A lot of people have been asking with us um, closing our San Diego store if we're opening somewhere else and if we're opening on the East Coast. I'm so sorry, but I don't think we're opening any stores on the East Coast, at least not for the foreseeable future. But hopefully one day. I mean, that would be amazing. I would love to go on the East Coast. I don't think I've ever been on the east coast actually i really don't think i have but super exciting we are working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes and that's all i'll say right now but tune in we'll keep you updated we'll keep smp nation in the loop on everything that's going on and yeah all right guys well i will see you guys back on thursday at smp live be sure to tune in it's going to be such a fun episode with carly bell i'm super excited but i'm gonna get out of here and keep working and then work on some fun stuff for the socials but i will see you all very very soon and it'll be awesome i have been to texas i have been to texas if that's what you're asking <laughs> okay i'm getting distracted all right you guys i will see you guys so soon have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you later all right bye guys